What's going down, y'all? Welcome to another episode of NBA Talk with E. Jones. But before we get into the video, post notification shout out for last video goes to my guy David Hernandez. Now I chose David because of his comment. I really fucked with his comment. He said, "Done. I fuck with your NBA Talk videos and overall of your channel. Been here since 5K subs. Keep it up, bro." Well, this really what got me. This what really got you a shout out, David. P.S. Fuck the Warriors. I, hey, I couldn't have said it better myself. But now, welcome to another edition of NBA Talk with E. Jones. We're continuing on with a series of finding the best player at each position in the NBA. Now, if you haven't seen any other of my videos, we've covered the point guard and the shooting guard so far. In this video, we're going to do the power forwards. I'm going to skip and save the small forwards for the last video of the series because I do think small forwards have the best overall players in the nba so that video is going to be an absolute banger and i'm gonna save it for last so we're going to skip ahead to find out who's the best power forward in the nba and the eight power forwards that we're comparing today is draymond green blake griffin paul Millsap, carl anthony towns anthony davis kevin love lamarcus aldridge and Kristaps porzingis and the five characteristics that we're going to be comparing these power forwards with today is interior scoring, also known as post game. Can you score your back to the basket, drop steps, up and unders, fadeaways, hooks, dunks, whatever you have in your post game, we're going to be comparing that to the next player. Interior defense, can you guard the paint, shot blocking, guarding your man, banging bodies, guarding bigger players, guarding small forwards? I don't fucking know. Interior defense, you guys know what it is. Pick and roll defense, are you able to switch onto a smaller guard, get your hands in the passing lane? Being able to switch on any position in the NBA is key. And the fourth attribute is pick and roll offense. After you set the screen and the point guard passes to you off a of pick and roll, what are you able to do with that? Are you able to play make for others, score, pick and pop, dunk on somebody, alley-oops, that's what pick and roll offense is. And last but not least, with the, with the NBA being such a three-point dominant league, being able to be a stretch four in today's NBA is an added addition to your game. So three-point shooting is the last and final attribute we're going to compare these power forwards with. And the first matchup of the first round is Paul Millsap of the Atlanta Hawks. Actually, he's on the Denver Nuggets now. And Draymond Green of the Golden State bitch-ass motherfucking Warriors. But now, in all seriousness, let's start at the bottom with three-point shooting. I have to give a check mark to Paul Millsap. I think his game is evolving to him being more of a stretch four. I think he takes more threes than Draymond, but even if he didn't take more threes, I think he's a more capable, better three-point shooter than Draymond. So check mark goes to Paul Millsap. Going up to pick and roll offense, I do have to give a check mark to Draymond. Once Steph gets double teamed or trapped off the pick and roll and they throw it to Draymond, his playmaking ability outweighs the scoring ability of Paul Millsap. So check mark for pick and roll offense goes to Draymond. And going up to pick and roll defense, in my opinion, I do think Draymond's the best overall defender in the NBA. He's able to guard all five positions at a high level. He gives 100% on the defensive end every game. That's part of the reason why I do fuck with Draymond out of all the Golden State Warriors. If I had to take one Warrior and put him on the Cavs, I would take Draymond just because of his effort on the defensive end. So his ability to switch on the smaller players small forwards centers whatever the case may be he's able to switch so pick and roll defense have to give him a check mark to draymond interior defense paul millsap is probably a bigger body he has a couple inches on draymond but draymond's defense and tenacity whether it be on demarcus cousins anthony davis the most premier big men in the league interior defense check mark has to go to draymond just because of his tenacity and last but not least interior scoring i don't think Draymond has that much of a post game, so I have to give a check mark to Paul Millsap. So two check marks to three. Draymond's advancing. Sorry, Paul Millsap. You're not even close to being the best power forward in the NBA. In the second matchup of the first round, we have Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans going against LaMarcus Aldridge of the San Antonio Spurs. And with this matchup, we're going to start at the top with interior scoring, also known as your post game. Now, when it comes to post game, I don't think Anthony Davis is more refined than LaMarcus Aldridge. I think LaMarcus Aldridge is more skillful and more crafty under the basket, whether it be up and unders, his post fadeaway is deadly. He's a little bit softer inside than Anthony Davis, but when it comes to overall post scoring i do have to give a check mark to lamarcus aldridge coming down to interior defense i do think anthony davis is the most dangerous or effective shot blocker in the nba due to his length and athleticism so interior defense easily goes to anthony davis pick and roll defense whether you're not whether you're able to or not be able to switch onto a smaller guard lamarcus aldridge kind of plays with like his back is broken he's very stiff 
in mobile i do think anthony davis is more capable to switch on a smaller guard or a small forward shooting guard so pick and roll defense have to give a check mark to anthony davis and coming down to pick and roll offense this is very interesting because we probably have the best pick and pop player in the nba with lamarcus aldridge his mid-range pick and pop is second to none in the nba like he really doesn't miss mid-range jumpers but with anthony davis it's kind of interesting because we know he can pick set a screen roll to the basket catch a lob roll to the basket dunk on you floaters uh, spin move dunks he has everything but with him his shooting touch isn't like a Lamarcus Aldridge but it is improving like since he came in the league his jumper has become somewhat dangerous you can say so with the ability to dunk catch lobs finish floaters and the shooting touch I'm gonna have to give a check mark to Anthony Davis on the pick and roll offense and coming down to three-point shooting I don't think these two players shoot a lot of threes I know they're shooting more just to adapt to the NBA style of play so three-point shooting I have to give it to I think LaMarcus Aldridge is a better three-point shooter than Anthony Davis even though I do think Anthony Davis is a capable shooter so with that being said I do think it's three check marks to two yeah three check marks to two for Anthony Davis LaMarcus Aldridge, your years are way beyond being the best power forward in the NBA. Now, the third matchup of the first round is very interesting. We have Blake Griffin, the Los Angeles Clippers, going against the young buck, Carl Anthony Towns of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And with this matchup, we're going to start at the top with interior scoring, also known as your post game. And I do think Carl Anthony Towns right now has a better post game than Blake Griffin. Even though Blake Griffin's a better passer out of the post than Carl Anthony Towns, Carl Anthony Towns' skill at his age is, is really what makes him a star right now like he, he has the potential to be the biggest star in the nba outside of lebron kd james harden westbrook in a couple years this is going to be carl anthony towns uh league that's because of his skill set so i do think he has a better post game and he's a better interior scorer than blake griffin right now and coming down to interior defense this is kind of interesting because with blake griffin being such an athletic freak you would think he'd be a better defensive player like with shot blocking but that's kind of one of his knocks on his game he's not really the defender that we all think he should be due to his hops and his physical uh, abilities his bodies like he's really fucking big so you think he'd be a better interior defender than he is so i'm gonna have to give a check mark to Carl Anthony Towns because Carl Anthony Towns is a wonderful shot blocker he can hold his own on the block Blake Griffin doesn't really live up to the hype when it comes to defense and when it comes to pick and roll defense or ability to switch on smaller players or other positions I'm gonna have to give a check mark to Blake Griffin I do think he's quicker and more capable to guard smaller positions and he has more experience doing that than Carl Anthony Towns pick and roll offense this is kind of easy for me right now even though Blake Griffin's highlights all came from pick and roll offense I do think the ability to pick and pop and stretch the floor while being able to dunk and finish at the rim i think carl anthony town has more ability out of pick and roll on offense than blake griffin and last but not least with this league being such a three-point dominant league i do think carl anthony towns is clearly the better shooter for three-point distance than blake griffin so i think it's what three to one or four to one whatever it is carl anthony towns is a better power forward right now than blake griffin even though when blake griffin came to the league he kind of had the same impact that carl anthony town has but injuries uh, stupid shit like punching the manager in the face breaking a hand has kept Blake Griffin off the floor and really kept him from being the superstar that he once was and the last matchup of the first round we kind of have white on white crime we have Chris Stapps Porzingis of the New York Knicks going against Kevin Love of my Cleveland Cavaliers and with this matchup we're gonna start at the bottom with three-point shooting and an easy check mark I do think out of all the power forwards Kevin Love even though I really hate that nigga on the couch, he don't be showing up sometimes. I do think he's the best three-point shooter out of all the power forwards in the NBA. So easy check mark goes to Kevin Love. Going up to pick and roll offense, easy check mark goes to Porzingis. His ability to shoot but also dunk on you. He's very crafty at his for his age. He's very young, but he's light on his feet at 7'3. Um, all that combined, I do think he's a better pick and roll option on offense than Kevin Love, even though Kevin Love's pick and pop game. Is deadly going up to pick and roll defense i would never not give a check mark for kevin love on this he really won us a championship he was able to switch on steph curry for that one possession and he put the l's on that nigga so check mark goes to kevin love for a pick and roll defense switch being able to switch on smaller guards going up to interior defense kevin love that's one of his knocks on his game he's not as physical as he used to be he lost like 75 pounds like he's really a lightweight now i know chris Vaz porzingis is skinny he's not as bulky as Kevin Love but with his length and he's 7'3 his shot his shot blocking ability is that much more of Kevin Love so easy check mark goes to Porzingis and going up to interior scoring post game <sighs> this is what frustrates me about Kevin Love as a Cavs fan he really doesn't have a post game he's more of like a bang 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 
jump hook or a bang 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 post fadeaway. But I don't think I don't think he has a better post fadeaway than Porzingis. Porzingis is more crafty down there. He's 7'3. His his shot is harder to block than Kevin Love. And when Kevin Love does that dumbass, weak ass jump hook, it can get blocked like Kevin Love or Kevin Durant did in the finals. So with that being said, Porzingis is more crafty or he's longer. He's a better post scorer than Kevin Love. So easy check mark goes to Porzingis. And with that being said, three check marks to two. Kristaps Porzingis is a better power forward than Kevin Love. And not only because of my system, but if I had the chance to trade Porzingis for Kevin Love as a Cavs fan, I would do that in a heartbeat. So Porzingis is moving on. Kevin Love used to be the best in Minnesota, but those days are way past due. Let me tell you. So after the first round, the results are Draymond Green beating out Paul Millsap, Anthony Davis beating out the washed up LaMarcus Aldridge, Carl Anthony Town, the young buck, beating out the athletic freak that once was Blake Griffin. And the last, probably the most competitive matchup of the first round, we have Porzingis beating out Kevin Love. So moving on to the first matchup of the second round, we have two young players that really made a name for themselves the first two years in the NBA. They really took the league by storm, and that's Kristaps Porzingis, his name is kind of hard to say, of the New York Knicks and Carl Anthony Towns of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And with this matchup, we're going to start at the top with interior scoring, also known as the post game. And I do have to give a check mark to Carl Anthony Towns. I do think his game, his post game is more refined. I do think he's more craftier. He's a bigger load down on the block. Here comes Towns. On the post up, goes at LeBron and chests him up. Now a double team trap. A jump ball, Carl Anthony Towns. Than Chris has Porzingis, his post fade away, he can dunk on you up and unders, drop steps, all that good shit. I do think his post game is more advanced or refined than that of Porzingis. And coming down to a tier of defense, I do have to give an edge to Porzingis. He's 7'3", he has longer arms than Carl Anthony Towns. Even though I do think Carl Anthony Towns is a great shot blocker, I have to give an edge to Porzingis due to his size, length, and overall just massiveness. He's like a long ass fucking tree. Uh, so the edge goes to Porzingis, check mark goes to Porzingis. Coming down to pick and roll defense, the ability to switch on smaller positions, I do think Carl Anthony Towns is more mobile and capable to do that than that of Porzingis. So check mark goes to Carl Anthony Towns for pick and roll defense. Coming down to pick and roll offense, I also have to give a check mark to Carl Anthony Towns, even though Porzingis is a great option when it comes to pick and roll offense. But Carl Anthony Towns is more athletic. He's just as good of shooter. Uh, he can dunk on you, catch lobs. He has touch, floaters, runners, all that good shit. When it comes to pick and roll offense, there's very few better options in the league than Carl Anthony Towns, so easy check mark goes to him. And coming down to three point shooting, I do think Porzingis' game relies more on three point shooting than Carl Anthony Towns. And I do think overall he's a better three point shooter, so check mark goes to him. So if I'm correct, three check marks to two for Carl Anthony Towns. He moves on. Porzingis, I really enjoy watching you play. They call you a unicorn for a reason. We've never seen nothing like you. 7'3", can shoot, handle, post game, catch lobs, block shots. He's amazing. But when it comes to Carl Anthony Towns, we can all agree the league better watch out because he's coming for sure. And the last and only matchup in the second round, we have Draymond Green of the Warriors going against Anthony Davis of the New Orleans Pelicans. I'm already laughing because I think two years ago, Draymond Green said if he was 6'10", he would be Anthony Davis, which is kind of laughable because Draymond Green does not possess the skill and ability that Anthony Davis does. Very few people in the NBA or in history have the skill that Anthony Davis does, and Draymond Green just doesn't possess the same skill and ability that he does but anyways let's start at the bottom with three-point shooting and i do have to give an edge for anthony davis i think we all can agree he has a better touch than draymond green even though draymond green is a capable three-point shooter i don't think he has the same touch from outside that anthony davis does going up to pick and roll offense like i said uh draymond green's playmaking ability out of the pick and roll when they trap steph is amazing it kind of it's kind of what is the advantage when they go against the Cavs in the finals when they trap steph like we normally like to do he pitches it over to draymond and draymond's able to go four on three against the Cavs defenders so Draymond Green's playmaking ability is an added addition to his game but I don't think he has the pick and roll ability on offense that Anthony Davis does he can shoot pick and pop he's a willing passer he's not the passer like Draymond but he can catch lobs off pick and roll he can dive to the basket dunk on anybody in the NBA floaters runners spin moves all that good shit easy check mark pick and roll offense for Anthony Davis pick and roll defense the ability to switch like I said Draymond Green 
probably the best overall defender, defensive player of the year for a reason, and his ability to switch on to smaller guards and guard all five position is really what made him win defensive player of the year. So easy check mark for pick and roll defense or the ability to switch. Going up to interior defense, like I said, Anthony Davis is probably the best shot blocker in the NBA. Even though Draymond can hold his own down there and he's also a great shot blocker, interior defender, his level of defense inside doesn't match that of Anthony Davis. So check mark goes to Anthony Davis. And last but not least, going up to the top two interior scoring, also known as post game. Like we all know, Draymond Green purely plays off energy and effort. He doesn't really have a post game, but even if he did, we all know Anthony Davis gets busy on the block. So easy check mark for post game goes to Anthony Davis. I don't know if it's three to two or four to one. Uh, probably three to two. I don't know what it is, but Anthony Davis is clearly the better player than Draymond Green. And the results after the second round, we have Anthony Davis beating out Draymond Green and Carl Anthony Towns beating out Kristaps Porzingis. Now, ever since I've been doing these tournament videos, I kind of caught onto a trend. When it comes to a certain matchup, whether it be point guard, shooting guard, whatever the position is, there's always two players that match up identical. The way they play, their personality, their defense, everything is the same. With point guards, it was John Wall and Westbrook. Shooting guards, it was Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Klay Thompson. In this video, I do think the championship round contains two players that identify or kind of resemble each other in the same exact manner they're high flying lengthy skillful three-point shooting pick and roll defense pick and roll offense everything they do on the basketball court resembles themselves or resembles each other ah <sighs> so this one should be very interesting so with that being said, let's start at the top with interior scoring, also known as post game. We all know Anthony Davis gets busy on the block. He scored 60 points, grabbed 20 rebounds in the same game. Like he owns the paint. He's a high flying athletic freak. <sighs> Carl Anthony Towns, he's younger, but I do think he has a more refined post game. When he's when I watch Carl Anthony Towns play, I really appreciate his post game. I do think that's what really makes him a star at his young age. So I do have to give a slight edge to post game for Carl Anthony Towns, even though some of you guys might think Anthony Davis has a better post game. When it comes to interior defense, like I said all video, I don't think there's a better shot blocker or interior defender than Anthony Davis. So easy check mark goes to him. It's one to one. Let's go down to pick and roll defense, the ability to switch on smaller point guards. Oh man. I'm gonna have to give an edge to Anthony Davis just because I do think he has more experience in doing that. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns is younger, so he hasn't really had the exposure to switching on to younger players that Anthony Davis has. So a slight edge to pick and roll defense or the ability to switch on to smaller players for Anthony Davis. And coming down to pick and roll offense, these two players, like I said, are very much the same in how they score. And I do think the dominance for both players comes out of pick and roll. So when I'm trying to think of how they play in my mind and visualize their highlights and, and me watching film, I, my mind is telling me there's only one way to go and I do have to give the check mark to Anthony Davis because when I do think of how dominant Anthony Davis is, he's a top five, six player in the NBA, all of that dominance comes out of pick and roll, whether it be pick and pop, he's a better finisher than Carl Anthony Towns, he could catch lobs, floaters, runners is a big part of his game. So if I had to choose, I do think my mind, my instincts are telling me Anthony Davis, so check mark goes to him. And coming down to three point shooting, the last and final attribute will probably dictate what is it? One for Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis, Anthony Davis. Damn. So I'm gonna just give three point shooting to Carl Anthony Towns. I do think he's a better three point shooter. Uh, but with that being said, three check marks to two. Anthony Davis, you are the best power forward in the NBA. I'll fuck with you. And let me go back to these two players one more time, even though we decided that Anthony Davis is the best power forward. When it comes to Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Davis, I don't even think these two players have reached their potential at all. I do think Anthony Davis has the potential to be something we've never seen, like Tim Duncan times two. And when it comes to Carl Anthony Towns with his size, and length, scoring ability, touch, all that shit, and he's so young, I think his potential can overmatch that of Anthony Davis, Tim Duncan, KG. I really think highly of Carl Anthony Towns, but right now I do think Anthony Davis is the best power forward in the game. Even though Carl Anthony Towns is coming for the league, he's very, very scary. Uh, I don't think there's no other player in the NBA you would trade for Carl Anthony Towns due to his age. So with that being said, this video is probably my favorite one so far. So that's gonna do for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you did, it will help out the channel a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, you like my content. For a post notification shout out in my next video, just hit the bell, turn on all post notifications, and comment when done. But other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out.